hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel civil construction and tutor in this video i'll discuss about design of a settling basin this is how a settling basin look in the real field starting with this introduction part it is an important efficient structure constructed on the headrest canal for removal of sediment particles generally it is provided in ror type projects runoff river type project we have a plan of ROR plant so we have the intake and this is the canal and we have sand trap that is known as settling basin here located and this is the channel crossing similarly in the sectional view also you can find the settling basin just after the headrest canal now let us discuss the components of settling basin let me draw the plan view of the settling basin okay uh, let me draw okay like this this is the settling part this is the inlet okay and this is the outlet part l b length and breadth respectively generally the ratio of length and breadth is taken as 4 to 10 and on the basis of this the length and breadth are determined uh, this is the sectional view if, and uh, this portion is this settling portion okay where the sand or sediments settles down show the continuous sign okay this is d and this is y storage i will discuss about this term later on i will clearly specify all these terms this is beta 1 and the another alpha is beta 2 okay and in this will be alpha 1 alpha 2 just a representation of the angle section view beta 1 is taken as 11 degree okay similarly beta 2 is taken as 26.5 degree alpha 1 is taken as 27 degree okay and alpha 2 is taken as 45 degree uh, on the basis of ratio it is taken as 1 is to 5 vertical to horizontal similarly 1 is to 2 uh, 1 is to 2 and finally 1 is to 1 please don't get confused with the number of settling tank in a hydropower project it is not necessary that there will be only one uh, tank or settling tank in a hydropower project it depends upon the discharge if the discharge is less a single settling tank is sufficient but if the discharge is greater then a more number of settling tank will be necessary for example if we have a discharge of 10 meter cube per second then a single settling tank may be sufficient but in case if the discharge is more than 60 meter cube per second then additional settling tank may be necessary now parameters of settling basin The very first being the fall velocity okay that is the velocity on which uh, at which the sediments settles down also known as setting velocity and represented as vs function of density of particle specific weight shape viscosity and temperature okay on which these are the parameters on which the settling velocity depends not specified it can be considered or computed as vs is equal to under root 3.33 g s minus 1 d for re that is reynolds number greater than 1000 or diameter of the particle greater than 1 mm similarly vs has to be calculated by using this formula 4 by 3 into g by c d s minus 1 into d for reynolds number 1 to 1000 and diameter from 0 0.1 to 1 mm similarly vs can be computed as 418 s minus 1 d square 3t plus 70 by 100 d is or up to 0 0.1 mm that is less than 0 0.1 mm or you can also compute the settling velocity from table and for particle size up to 1.5 mm at different temperatures so this is a table you can find in google or you can also find in many books and from this the settling velocity is computed with respect to the temperature and the particle size second parameter is surface area of settling basin 
a s okay it is represented as a s k into q by v s that is settling velocity q is the design discharge k is coefficient of bullens okay and it is taken as 1.2 to 1.5 similarly v s is the fall velocity or settling velocity third parameter is size of particles as it is very important in the design of a settling basin generally d is 0.25 mm right, according to the site condition okay fourth is flow velocity v is equal to a under root d where d is the particle size in mm similarly a is a constant and its value is 0.36 for the particle size greater than 1 mm and 0.44 for particle size uh, ranging from 0.1 to 1 mm and for particle size less than 0.1 mm it is taken as 0.51 basically the ratio of length to breadth is taken between 4 to 10 as i have already discussed in the introduction part and considering the settling tank as a rectangular portion as is computed as l into b for a rectangle as we have already computed area then we can find the value of l or b then the computed value of B should be checked with respect to the minimum waterway required for that discharge that is B dash is equal to 4.75 under root Q. Okay, this is B dash. The value computed is compared with this value and the minimum of these two value is taken as the width required for the settling tank. If B is greater than B dash then take B dash as the width of the settling tank. From Velikanov's method l is equal to lambda square v square under root h minus 0 0.2 square divided by 7.51 v s square so we are just checking the length okay lambda it depends on removal ratio this is used for checking the length that we have computed from the area is sufficient or not now approach for designing of the settling basin we have two methods one is particle approach and another is concentration approach so starting with particle approach let me draw a figure of a particle okay considering it as a 3d particle so consider a particle of size d has to travel a horizontal distance and fall a depth of h correspondingly with v and v s as the uh, travel velocity and settling velocity so these are for the horizontal distance and vertical distance respectively now considering that as a point okay and at that point the fall velocity is vs and the horizontal or travel velocity is v this being the vertical depth h and this being the horizontal length l from particle approach fall time and travel time are equal fall time is equal to fall okay time is equal to distance by velocity so fall time is equal to fall distance by fall velocity and fall distance is h and fall velocity is vs and similarly travel time will be equal to travel distance or that is l simply and y divided by v we know from particle approach these two times should be equal so h by vs is equal to l by v now just arranging this term uh, keeping uh, the l in the left hand side we get h into v by vs okay so this is the equation we have to understand and from this we can compute the length so this is the main idea of the particle approach here look this is without consideration of the turbulence effect now if we consider the turbulence effect then it will be a little bit different so now considering the turbulence effect okay i hope you understand the meaning of turbulence the fall velocity reduces as disturbance slows down the velocity it is a simple principle that if a particle is falling from a 
turbulent medium or we can say disturbed medium the settling will be slower than that of the normal case and this reduction in settling velocity has to be computed if we are considering the turbulence effect which is Vs dash is equal to alpha into V and it is a function of travel velocity okay that is the reduction in the settling velocity is a function of travel velocity V now 0 0.132 by under root h into V where alpha is 0 0.132 under root h okay so V is flow velocity h is the height of tank in meter then the length has to be calculated considering the turbulence the formula is similar to that of the previous one just the term in the denominator will be different you can see here so l equal to h into v by v s minus v s dash and substituting the value of v s dash as 0 0.132 by under root h into v so this is the formula for calculating the length of the tank considering the turbulence effect we have determined length breadth height of the settling basin okay if we know the length using the ratio we can find the value of b for sediment depth as i had shown in the figure okay this portion is the sediment depth and it is a function of sediment load sediment load is simply the load of sediment deposited in this settling basin at a time and its numerical value is computed as q e into c where uh, q is nothing but a discharge coming into the settling tank okay c is concentration of sediment and its si unit is kg per meter cube and this depends on the density of sediment and t is detention time the time for which the sediment will be allowed to settle in this settling tank finally volume of sediment and it can be computed as sediment load divided by density into a constant term beta where beta is packing factor and generally taken as 0 0.3 the next method is concentration approach in this method we will find the efficiency of the settling tank and from this we will compute the area of the settling tank for finding the efficiency we use Vetter's equation which is 1 minus eta is equal to e to the power minus vs into as by q and from efficiency we can compute the area of the settling tank that is as and taking l by v ratio we can compute the dimension of the settling tank so this is the concentration approach mark this note from Hazen's equation eta is equal to 1 minus 1 plus m into vs by v in uh, to the power minus 1 by m here v is equal to q by as and m is equal to performance coefficient and this is taken as 0 0.17 generally from cams graph you can find this in google or you can just find in the book also v asterisk that is shear velocity which we have already discussed in the fluid mechanics 4.2 into v by 1000 r to the power 1 by 6 where r is hydraulic radius and it is equal to a by p area divided by weighted perimeter and for a trapezoidal section differentiating them into the rectangular and triangular portion the rectangular portion have a width of b and the triangular portion has a slope of z is to 1 and the depth of the channel being d now we have to compute two terms for using the cams graph that is vs by v asterisk and vs into as by q in graph you might see w and u asterisk okay don't get confused w is the settling velocity and u asterisk is the shear velocity then from cams graph we can compute the value of efficiency eta so this is the 
Cam's graph. In x axis, we have reducing turbulence W by U asterisk, which is simply as Vs by V asterisk as we have uh, represented in our case Vs by V asterisk. And for this, we have written as Vs into As by Q, which is the graph, okay. And from the ordinate that is efficiency can be determined by using the reducing turbulence and the graph which is represented by Vs into As by Q. Here we have computed three values of efficiency using Vetter's equation as an equation and Cam's graph. However, the lowest value among these three efficiency is considered as the efficiency of the settling tank. In short form, you can note it down this design procedure for the design of a settling basin. Here are some images from the site of the construction of a settling basin uh, you can see some of the reinforcement work foundation work of the settling tank thank you do subscribe and like